Hi everybody, welcome to our CKLA sound pronunciation video. For this session we're using the teacher's edition of K5 Unit 2, pages 70 and 71. So there are three categories of sounds we will be covering today. The quick sounds are one second. There's a puff of air that follows the sound. We want to make sure that we don't use the uh schwa sound following these sounds. The first sound is b, k, ch, d, g, h, j, k, p, t. You'll notice that each sound was fast. There was no uh following that sound. We don't want to repeat these sounds. We don't want to say b, 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 b. We say the sound b, and we have the ch children respond to that. Then we say it again, b, and have the children respond. Our next set of sounds are our sustained sounds. These are the consonant sounds that can be held for two full seconds. The first one is o, mm, mm, and the Q is the KW sound we hear qu, qu. But more often than not, the Q is with a U, so when we're doing that combination, we're going to hear ku, quick, queen, quarter. In the next row, we're going to take the sound. This sound actually comes from the back of the jaw. So if you put your hands back here and say roar, you're going to feel where the roar is coming from. You'll also notice that your mouth will make a little round rose or roar sound. You'll hear it in rows, red, runner, Rita. The sound is not the ER sound that you hear at the end of run er. It's the rrr sound from the back of the jaw. The next sound is the sound, and then we have shh. And then come our two TH sounds. The first one is the unvoiced sound that we're going to hear in words like thick and thin. The tongue comes between the teeth. The next one is the voiced one that stays behind the teeth, and we hear it in words like these and those. It makes kind of that buzzy sound. The next sound in the bottom row is our walk, Wednesday, wilt. Then we have our KS in X for the X sound, ox, X, tax. And then the Y in yes, yellow, yonder, and Z. What we want to remember is that in this combination of two second sounds, we have a lot of our sister sounds here. So holding them for two seconds is going to help our students remember, or hear rather, the difference between those sounds. For example, the th and the v sounds are pretty close together. So is the m <coughs> and the n, also the s and the z sound. So remember to hang on to these for a nice full two seconds. The last set of our sounds are the vowel sounds, and we want to stretch these for three seconds. These sounds are very hard to distinguish one from the other, so we really need to hold those for three seconds long. I, a, 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 a. In CKLA, we notice that in these, it's almost like alligator arms is the way the sounds are taught, the sequence. We have the I, A, 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 A. So students start to learn that when they're opening their mouth wider, they're producing the vowel sounds. Another way to think about giving it three seconds is to put your hand underneath your jaw and try it again. We have I, A, A, A. Uh, so you'll notice these sounds are just a jaw drop apart. It's really important for students to hear them for three seconds in order to really learn their sound. And after the students learn 
the vowel sounds, we give them hand signals for them to help to distinguish their sounds. The hand signals are introduced. I, a, 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 a. This is an excellent way for the kids to be able to distinguish what the vowel sound is when they are sounding out words. Mmm, mat. They might go mmm, mat. Just remember, sounds, not letter names, help our kids to read. Students who are struggling to remember their sounds need lots of explicit modeling. We also need to give our students positive feedback. This helps to support their confidence in learning to read. For additional guidance in the linguistically correct way to pronounce each of the sounds, go back and reference pages 72 to 83 in the K-5 Unit 2 Teacher's Edition. Thank you.